All right, welcome back, everybody. We are continuing with season six, Game of Thrones, and today we're watching episode three. So last episode ended with you very, very happy because your John Snow came back to life. Yes. So yeah, and that was such a big event. I don't remember what else happened in that episode. Other, oh, Ramsey killed his dad. Oh, yeah. Because, and, and he killed, the, and his he killed his stepmother and his stepmother and his brother. Uh, Theon's dad was killed by his uncle. Mm-hmm. And Bran was at, was Bran at the tree? Yeah. You saw some tree. stuff with Bran. So, well, let's, let's, let's get into it. Let's see what happens in episode three. You ready? I'm ready. Are you, are you ready? <laughs> These can be dramatic, you know. They're not me. <laughs> you might feel good at the end of this one. Oh, yeah, she's hanging out with the uh, operation. Boy. Who wrote it? And Tyrion went and let the dragons loose. Oh, yeah. Last episode. The sons of the harpy take orders from someone. I don't know if he thought that was a good idea, he didn't know it or not. Become a maester. If Gilly stays here, then she'll die. The baby that she named after me will die. And I'll end up dying too. Mm. Your Aunt Liana. She was already promised to Robert Baratheon. My father never talked about her. Lady Walder has given birth. A mm. boy. You'll always be my firstborn. Mm. And you get back what you did to Rob. They paraded Martha through the streets like a whore. What did I do? Who are you? A girl has no name. A girl is not a beggar anymore. I'll fight you, cowards! Hmm. He said, fight you, cowards. Stan breaking his oath one to be the answer. Well, he can come back there. He's planning to come back and be a mace for a night's watch. <laughs> I mean, Brian, she's an oath keeper. She was the oath keeper. Who's the oath breaker? But not be Brian. I don't think Brian, you think he probably killed Brian to get her away from Sansa? I can't um on tune for nothing. <laughs> and out to the head. <laughs> it sounds good in my head, but when I listen back to it, <laughs> nah. Look at it. I'm looking at John. <sighs> yeah, yeah. An off right Harry. <laughs> okay. The Lord Commander is alive. Listen to me. Well, what the hell's going on? I was dead. Well, I mean, I, you at least think the wounds would have closed up or something. Did you get to keep the wounds? I guess so. Huh? Well, it's here all the time, I guess. Easy. Easy. Mm. Mm. It says something I did work, actually work this time. She even surprised herself. Stop me. Ollie. If 
put a knife in my heart. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. The lady brought you back. Afterwards. After they stabbed you, after you died, where did you go? What did you see? You heard nothing? There was nothing at all. Hmm. The Lord let you come back for a reason. Stannis was not the prince who was promised, but someone has to be. Nice John. Now it ain't Stannis. All that mess you were talking. Now it ain't Stannis. Well, yeah, Stannis dead now. <laughs> Says she saw John fighting in Winterfell. So, who says she saw Stannis fight at Winterfell? Yeah. yeah. Well, she's we're dead. And no, you're not. That's completely fucking mad. Seems to mm. me. Yeah. I can only say imagine that. how it seems to you. I did what I thought was right, and I got murdered for it. Hmm. I failed. We didn't fail. Good. Now go fail again. Exactly. Keep failing. So you get it right. Hmm. Hmm. What? What? Like what the fuck? I just know a lot. I just know a lot. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> nothing a little weak though. Yeah. And you take five five knives to the chest, you're gonna need some help down some stairs. Hmm. Look at that. They think you're some kind of god. I'm not a god. I know that. <laughs> I know that. A pecker. What kind of god would have a pecker that small? <laughs> Tormy, man. What a jokester. I love this show and I hate this show at the same time. I know the feeling. I'm right there with you. Well, your eyes are still brown. That's still you in there. Hold off on burning my body for now. <laughs> that's funny. You sure that's still you in there? <laughs> <laughs> he over there sick. Yeah. I free you. You leave having fun. Mm -mm, don't show me that. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. <laughs> Big cruise ship, I'm fine, but some of the small, small boats. Can do that. Sam, are you going to be sick? Right. Why are they gonna show me that? <laughs> I can look realistic. Won't be long. We'll be in the south soon. I'm excited to see old town. Mm. Are you going to vomit again? No. <laughs> if you keep on asking. The Citadel doesn't admit women. Stayed at Castle Black. There's no women allowed there. The Citadel isn't Castle Black. I don't have a, a Jon Snow or Maester Aemon to help me bend the rules. So if we're not going to old town, where are you taking me? To my home. My father's, well, my father, but my mother's a kind woman and my sister's lovely. Wherever you go, I go too. That's what you said. I miss both. Oh, yeah. You gotta learn, Sam. Women use your words against you. I said that because I want you and little Sam to be safe. <laughs> if you think it's for the best. We trust you. I'd feel better if you threw something at me and stormed off. I never do that to the father of my son. Aww. I'm gonna him get together. 
Yeah. Sam's a little. father. The man beside him is Howland Reed, Mira's father. Sir Arthur Dane. The sword of the morning. Father said he was the best swordsman he ever saw. Lord Stark. The Mad King is dead. Rhaegar lies beneath the ground. Why weren't you there to protect your prince? Our prince wanted us here. Where's my sister? I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. And now it begins. What? No. Now it ends. You didn't last long. Those <laughs> are like Rhaegar's. King's Guard. Mm -hmm. So they're like supposed to be like some of the best fighters. Oh. He's supposed to be like one of the best ever. Yeah, yeah really? Yeah. You got two swords. Or <laughs> hey. I thought he killed what's his thing? Well, could be me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's cutting through them like butter. <laughs> mm -mm. So, Ned, be him. All you need is one now. You just put down one. Then I'm fine for my sister. She's better than my father. Far better. That far better. <laughs> my father beat him. Did he? I know he did. Heard the story a thousand times. Hmm. <laughs> Jamie again? Yeah, that's how Reed. Here he's dead. Well, he's already dead. Oh, fine. They're gonna throw her out? What's in the tower? That's enough for one day. We'll visit again another time. I want to see where he's going. Time to go. Father! Uh-oh. Like, dude, you can't change the future. I mean, the... Thanks. Yeah. Why did you do that? Look, I'm tired of you waking me up every time I <laughs> get good. He heard me. Maybe. Maybe he heard the wind. He heard me. The past is already written. The ink is dry. What's in that tower? I want to go back there. I've told you many times. <laughs> Stay too long where you don't belong and you will never return. Why do I want to return? So I can talk to an old man in a tree? Do you think I wanted to sit here for a thousand years watching the world from a distance? So why did you? I was waiting for you. You won't be here forever. But before you leave, you must learn. Learn what? Everything. Everything, all the history. Rob. Yeah. Hey, now, why are you dragging it? There's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, Greg Lisa, move your butt. Mm. 
It look all happy. Mm-hmm. Probably like we could just sit for a little bit instead of walking all over the place. Mm. Maria Vokari, Mas Finn Weiss, Bemrasoi, Ma Maurice, Vasque, Halisi, Haladro, Hadiran, Makeshon, Vasque, Aginon. What the what? Why am I asking you know where she go? <laughs> Paris and his little fan. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> You stand it and all that leather. <laughs> this is If you're going to torture me, just call them back and get on with it. I am not a torturer. <clears throat> My job is to find the right answers. Do you know how I do that? I do it by making people happy. I'd like to make you happy, Valor. That's your name, isn't it? Valor. You've done a lot. Mm. You've sacrificed your body for a cause, which is more than most people do. And you've helped the sons of the harpy murder the unsullied and the second sons. But you're a prostitute. I mean, I really... <laughs> I think it's important that you try to see things from my perspective, just as I will try to see them from yours. Because that is the only way that I can make you and Dom happy. That is how you pronounce it. Dom. Who is that? Such a handsome boy. Those big brown eyes. Good luck keeping the ladies away. Mm. (laughs) You won't torture me. You'll just threaten my son. Children are blameless. I have never hurt them. You did conspire to kill the Queen's soldiers. We both know the penalty for that crime. Kill her. Kill her. I just want to kill everybody. If I tell you anything, they'll kill me. So either you kill me or they do. Yes. There is a third option, though. A ship. Leave me tomorrow for Pentos. I've already booked passage for a woman and her young son. I'll even throw in a bag of silver to help you start again. Though I'm a a pretty big bag of silver. The boat sails at dawn. You need to decide now. Well. (laughs) Oh, now it's mounted up. To pass the time, what should we do? What should we talk about? Be confused. What would you be talking about if I weren't here? Patrol. When I am going on patrol with the Ansalit, what we see on patrol. Oh, oh, I bet. Thought he said the throne. Dude, <laughs> he said patrol. A wise man once said, the true history of the world is a history of great conversations in elegant rooms. Who said this? Me. Just now. <laughs> <It's huge. laughs> All right, no conversations. Let's play a game. You don't play games, either one of you, ever? Games are for children. My mask Krasnitz would sometimes make us play games. There, that's a start. <laughs> Only the girls. Oh, no, no, no. Not that, of course not that. <laughs> Um, mm. Horses and drinking game. 
right? No drinking. We can play without drinking. I make a statement about your past. If I'm wrong, I drink. And if I'm right, maybe we can't play without drinking. <laughs> oh, you took your time. Sorry. I was busy learning who funds the Sons of the Harpy, some things you can't rush. You found out? The good masters of Astapor and the wise masters of Yonkai, with help from their friends in Volantis. Conquered Astapor and Yonkai once, we will do it again and execute the masters. The masters speak only one language. If we want them to hear us, we must speak it back to them. May it be the last thing they ever hear. Mm. So we will fight them? Possibly. Possibly. It's a conversation. <laughs> Can your little birds get a message to the good masters of Vassalpur, the wise masters of Yonkai, and the benevolent enslavers of Volantis? Of course. Mm. No need to be afraid. This is Sir Gregor. Mm. Run along now. Barris' little birds. Your little birds now, Your Grace. What did you do to him exactly? I haven't been able to get a clear answer. Oh, well, a number of things. Does you understand what we're saying? I mean, to the extent that he ever understood complete sentences in the first place. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that, Jamie? The High Sparrow has hundreds of faith militants surrounding him. Sir Gregor can't face them all. He'll only have to face one. Ooh. Has the Faith Level official charges yet? Not yet. Oh! Trial by combat, I look forward to watching. Don't stop at the city. I want little birds in dawn, in High Garden, in the north. If someone is planning on making our losses their gains, I want to hear it. If someone is laughing at the Queen who walked naked through the streets covered in shit, I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know where they are. It's too funny. This was. Kyburn is worse. I told them all. I told them. He's arrogant, dangerous. Mm. And what he's done to Gregor Clegane is an abomination. And I, for one, think it will be in our best interest to have the beast destroyed. <laughs> Always running your. Here you go, Yeah. <laughs> to help deal with several troublesome issues, such as the Queen's imprisonment. Thank you for bringing it up. Marjorie is the Queen. You are not the Queen, because you're not married to the King. I do appreciate these things can get a bit confusing in your family. This is a small council meeting. You have no position on the small council. I'm the Lord Commander of the King's Guard. The Lord Commander of the King's Guard does have a position on the small council. Okay. King. Robert saw things differently. Hmm? What about Marcella's death, Uncle? Do you consider the murder of your own blood a troublesome issue? We've got a lot to discuss, all of us, together. And seeing as you cannot make us leave, we best get on with it. Hmm. No, we cannot make you leave. And you cannot make us stay. Not unless you're going to have that thing murder us all. <laughs> Jesus! Lose his mind. Yes, or be so. Leave it, that cross and bones. Of course. My mother would like to see her daughter's final resting place. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Grace. That's not possible. You cut off her hair and marched her naked through the streets in front of the whole city. What do do? What do do on her? What do do? And trial before seven septums. What do do on her? True extent of her sins. I want you to let her see Marcella's resting place. I am the king. You are. <laughs> And what does that mean to you? It means a great deal to me. The crown and the faith are the twin pillars of the world. Do you know who told me that? Your mother. 
I don't understand why he just don't kill him. I mean, y'all, I promise I ain't about all that killing, but just cut the head off and go on about your business. And great deal of falsehood in Cersei, you know that. But when she speaks of you, the mother's love outshines it all. Her love for you is more real than anything else in this world. Of your grace, do, may I do mine? It's, it's my niece. Of course. Whatever. Good like now, saying, dude. When your mother made her walk of atonement, she did it to get back to you. I still don't understand why you want to put her through any more than she's already endured. It's not what I want. It's what the gods want. If we're to be just and good, then we accept it, all of us, even kings. A true leader avails himself of the wisest counsel he can, and no one is wiser than the gods. My grandfather once said something similar, except for the part about the gods. This is blonde haired girl, get ready to hit her with a stick. <laughs> All right, I need you to lean you know, on your senses, baby. Who are you? No one. Uh oh. You ain't got no teeth left. You can whack the man in the face like that. She had one sister, Sansa, and four brothers. <laughs> She has four brothers. Three brothers. Rob, <laughs> Bran, <laughs> Rickon. <laughs> and a half-brother, John. Still a brother, right? Tell me about the hound. <laughs> she like beating her up. Well, I can't wait till she beat her to you. He was not on her list anymore. She had taken him off it. Why? Didn't she want him dead any longer? She did, and she did not. Who else was on Arya Stark's funny little list? <coughs> Cersei Lannister. <coughs> Gregor Clegane. Walder Frey. That can't be everyone you want to kill. You? Which name would you like a girl to speak? <coughs> That's right, beat a girl, beat her. That's right, beat her. Beat her. Look at her. Cry, baby. Come back, soccer, whoop you. <laughs> Come back, soccer, whoop you. Come back. That's <laughs> I want you. <laughs> if a girl tells me her name, I will give her eyes back. A girl has no name. Come. I, I promise you, I'll be like, bring her back. <laughs> bring her back. You gonna drink, have me drink her this water? I'm gonna treat you. Everybody die from me. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> if a girl is truly no one, she has nothing to fear. Then you drink it. That's what I tell her. Her clean fingernails. I mean, they look clean. Are <laughs> you worried about her nails? I'm looking at the details. <laughs> Who are you? No one. Yambas are a famously loyal house. Times change. When my father became Warden of the North, your house refused to pledge their banners. Your father was a cunt. Warden. Your father was a cunt, and that's why you killed him. My father was poisoned by our enemies. Mm. Why mm. have you come to Winterfell, Lord Umber? The bastard Jon Snow led an army of wildlings past the wall. So now you've come seeking help. We need to help each other. The colder it gets, the farther south those goat fuckers will roam. 
Won't take them long to get here. You think a horde of wildlings can take Winterfell? If they get Jon Snow leading them, maybe. Pledge your banners to House Bolton. And we will fight together to destroy the bastard and all his wildling friends. I'm not kissing your fucking hand. Why would I trust a man who won't <laughs> honor tradition? Fuck kneeling and fuck oaths. I've got a gift for you. Yeah. You're gonna put the heads. A girl. Aye. <laughs> a hey, wild son. one. Uh huh. I like them wild. And the boy. Nice and young. The way Carstart likes them. Oh my god, the start. Who's this? Rickon Stark. Oh my god. How do I know that's Rickon Stark? Oh my god. They gotta kill this wolf. Oh my god. Welcome home, Lord Stark. Oh my god. They don't kill me. It's time. They don't touch it. He got them all up there. <laughs> What? Look. If Look up. words, now is the time. Look up. You shouldn't be alive. It's not right. Neither was killing me. Yeah. My mother's still living in White Harbor. Could you write it? No. Tell her I died fighting the Wildlings. No. Because you did. That's your pride for Sif. Ain't gonna say nothing. I had a choice, Lord Commander. Betray you, or betray the Night's Watch. If I had to do it all over, knowing where I'd end up, I pray I'd make the right choice again. I'm sure you would, Sir Alistair. I fought. I lost. Now I rest. But you... You'll be fighting their battles forever. Hmm. What you get to say, Ali? He just followed behind him because he had so much hatred of people. Look at him. Come on. Don't condone killing but <laughs> look at him. He makes it seem like he ain't gonna do. Go ahead. Show him you're a little commander. Talk to you. All you want. Make the edit in the evening. Hmm. I'm gonna be cut the head to him. This is the last time. There's nobody one way ever try to cross here. Well. Poor Ollie. Okay. He led astray. He led astray from everybody else's hatred. You know, you got people who feed on other people's hatred. They kind of horn in on it and magnify it. Should burn the bodies. You should. What? What are you doing? Make him the Lord Commander? Wear it. Burn it. You have Castle Black. What? My watch is ended. Oh, he's the oath breaker. Yep. What? 
Well, technically, he's not. Oh, my God. Because technically, when you die, you're in a nice watch until you die. He died. And you back again, though. Yeah, but so he's like. Yeah, take an oath again? He's probably like the first to ever die and come back to life. So they. Wow. So well, he's not. He died off. But it was five wounds that he had. What fifth one? What fifth person? Because all I saw was four up there. I don't know. It's been only four, I don't know. One, two. It's been four. One, two, three, four. Look like five. I don't remember how many people they showed stabbing them, but but they did now. And and what's the thing? I did it. And so did so and so and so did so and so. So he's gonna like if I'm going down, everybody going down with me. Yeah. But he never said Ollie. Okay. But how they figure it was Ollie? Because Ollie, you know. Well, John, John knew it was Ollie. Yeah, but they took them into custody already before probably, they knew well, John. Probably when he tried to, they probably took him when he tried to attack Torment. Mm. And then he was standing right next to him, looking all sneering, a little stupid stuff. Well, wow. smirking and trying to look all Well, that right was head. a good episode. Uh, Jamie and his sister. All right, I'm going to give you. I'm going to let you know. All one topic. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell me what you were saying. I'm just going to let you know. Next episode, guarantee I'm going to, it's going to make me cry and I want you to say shit about it. Well, we ain't watching nothing right now. <laughs> I'm going to say, okay. Because I might say something about it. Oh, I know you will. Are you crying? Yeah, I am. Like, what? Are you crying? No matter how many times I watch it, it's going to make me cry. Every time. This is a good episode. Jamie and Cersei try to make their way into that small council. Kevin said, get your ass out of here. But they got up and left. Yeah, he's like, I ain't having your crap. Yeah, let me see what else. And then you got Sparrow. I don't understand why. You know, Tommy don't grow no balls and just go ahead and have him killed. Because he could have had all three of them killed. All of them people killed. I think Tommy's like 11, so he's just so easily, easily scared, manipulated. Right, but. That's why I say he's not ready to play that game. It's like, he don't need to talk to nobody by himself. He needs an adult with him. Well, that was good. That was a good episode. That was a good episode. I just don't like the fact that John walked Hey, but I hate the fact that they have what's his name, the young star, oh, yeah. Rickon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and Ramsey's scared. You know, you know he's gonna be tortured, skinned alive, all that good stuff. Probably burnt. Like what's his name, Theon said he did, um, but he burnt the the former kids. Which is just as bad. You burning kids alive, you know. Yeah. Just as bad, you know. So him and Ramsey are right up there with the mindset, to be honest. Right. There ain't nobody up there with Ramsey. No. Ramsey's a psychopath. He really is. Somebody need to kill him. And that man said, I ain't bowed down to you. Your daddy was a cunt. Oh, yeah. Uh, umbers. <laughs> Your daddy was a cunt. He's like, and I bought a boy just like what's his name? Like, like the first time. <laughs> and he stood up like, oh, if he tell the truth, let him tell the truth. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But this is a good episode. Um, it's very interesting to see how this is going to unfold because now the Red Witch, she came in shocked that it worked. It worked. But this is the only thing that you have foretold or you didn't even foretell this, so that should have been a clue right there. Yeah. She didn't foretell this. She just did it, hoping that it would manifest. Now, the other stuff she saw was not Stannis went the true prince. Really? Because that's all you've been saying. <laughs> you had him. 
Babe, gun ho. He ain't killed his child. He ain't killed his child. Yeah. You know, you ain't kill a little girl. Burn her alive. He believing in your mess. Any day in there. Now you want to say Dennis is the truth. He wasn't. Because he was weak. Blaming on a, a, a witch <laughs> that got him killed. He's like, we at, at the battle time, we're going to make pretty much saying we're going to make foxholes right here. He's like, we ain't got time. I guess this, this where is it. Yeah. They met you. They knew you was coming. They didn't even say, we're going to wait till they come to us. They met you where you at. And that's some bull crap. And you really didn't have the men that you started off with. Just like Rob did. Because yeah. 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 when you you lost the... the, the Car starts the guy that's sitting next to Ray. Yeah. But you you lost a lot of them once you burned your daughter alive. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah like, they're like, ain't nobody going to be around for this. When she said burn us, what he going to do? do? Burn us. <laughs> I'm surprised they stuck around that long. Many people he was burning. And Daenerys is stuck in the cow widow hood. Yeah, I'm still that good. If they let her stay, because apparently she's supposed to come to them immediately. You know, yeah. like she know the the, she the policies know. of the community. Like, like, like she know the rules. Yeah. Like she she know was the scared they were going to kill her. <laughs> so, um, it's very interesting to see how this is all. That's absolutely good. And I still don't understand why Cersei has been ordered that big what's the what's the, the mountain? The mountain to kill the sparrow. I mean, you got that big old dude, he can go in there and kill them. He might die, but he dead anyway, to be honest. Oh yeah, he, he looked dead anyway. He looked so. like a zombie. Yeah, so I, and all black around his eyes. Yeah, I'm just I want to see how this pan out because you could have used that man to go ahead that that guard to go ahead and kill the sparrow. But that's funny when she said, You don't kill anybody. He whispered the coon walking through naked, naked with covered in poop. Covered in doo doo. <laughs> She was coming you got a kick out of that. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Covered that doo doo, y'all. And she was. They were talking. And got spit on. Spit on. All, all kinds of names. Yeah. And still yeah. see uh, herself as the queen. The queen is in hell captive by the sparrow. Yeah. In Cersei's mind, she's always going to be there. Well, she's she delusional. She's delusional. Like she she delusional. So. Well, it's, I think if Cersei had the opportunity, she'd marry her own son, probably to take queen. She probably will, Nancy. Great Nancy fan. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys for coming along this journey with us. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, thumbs up and keep the comments coming. Until next time. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.